Are we alone in the universe, or is there other intelligent life out there? That's the intriguing question we'll be exploring today as we journey into the cosmos. We'll delve into the role of crucial elements like phosphorus in the formation of life and investigate the possibility that their scarcity could impact the prevalence of intelligent life in the universe. So, are you ready to join us on this exhilarating cosmic adventure and discover the mysteries of the universe? Before we dive into the importance of phosphorus, let's first understand the primary bulk elements that make up most life on Earth. These are oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Oxygen plays a crucial role in respiration, allowing us to breathe and produce energy. It's also a key component of water, which is essential for life as we know it. Carbon is the backbone of organic compounds, forming complex molecules that are the basis of life. It plays a central role in the carbon cycle, which helps regulate Earth's climate. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, is a vital component of both water and organic compounds. Its abundance and versatility make it a crucial building block for life. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is a key component of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins and nucleic acids, such as DNA and RNA. Nitrogen is also an important part of the nitrogen cycle, which helps maintain the balance of this essential element in the environment. Now that we've covered the primary bulk elements, let's discuss phosphorus, an often overlooked but essential element for life. Phosphorus plays a critical role in genetics and heredity, as it's a crucial component of DNA and RNA. It's also a key part of ATP, which is how cells store and transfer energy. Without phosphorus, life as we know it simply wouldn't exist. But phosphorus doesn't just sit around in abundant quantities. It's part of a complex cycle that ensures its availability for living organisms. The phosphorus cycle involves the movement of phosphorus through Earth's ecosystems, including phosphate deposits, living organisms, and the environment. Human activities such as agriculture and mining have had a significant impact on phosphorus availability, making its management an essential aspect of environmental sustainability. So how did these life-giving elements, including phosphorus, come to be? The answer lies in the stars, literally. Elements are created through a process called stellar nucleosynthesis, which occurs within the cores of stars. When stars go supernova, massive, dying stars that explode and eject their mass into the universe, they release these heavier elements into interstellar space. The role of supernovae in the formation of life is of utmost importance. These colossal explosions not only create heavy elements like phosphorus, but they also disperse them throughout the cosmos, providing the raw materials for the formation of new stars, planets, and potentially life. But how did phosphorus make its way to Earth? The answer lies in meteorites, extraterrestrial rocks that originate from the debris of exploding stars. It's believed that meteorites carrying phosphorus crashed onto Earth at just the right time, contributing to the formation of Earth's proto-biomolecules, or the precursors to the molecules that make up our living systems. The timing and role of meteorite impacts were crucial to the development of life on Earth. These celestial collisions delivered essential elements during Earth's formation, providing the necessary ingredients for life to eventually emerge. This fascinating process underscores the interconnectedness of our universe and the intricate chain of events that led to our existence. Now, let's dive into some new evidence that has significant implications for the prevalence of phosphorus and the likelihood of finding extraterrestrial life. Recent research suggests that phosphorus-creating supernovae may be rarer than previously believed. This discovery has wide-ranging consequences for the development of life elsewhere in the universe. Researchers studying the Crab Nebula, a supernova remnant first observed in the year 1054, discovered that it contains much less phosphorus than expected. Comparing their findings to a previously studied supernova remnant, Cassiopeia A, they concluded that supernovae contents can vary dramatically. This variability implies that even if a planet has habitable qualities similar to Earth's, it may not be near a supernova, or the supernova might be releasing different elements than the ones that contributed to life on Earth. This potential scarcity of essential elements on other planets has profound implications for our search for extraterrestrial life. The challenges of finding habitable planets are already significant, but the availability of life-forming elements adds another layer of complexity to the equation. Astrobiology, the study of life in the universe, 
continues to explore the potential for life on exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. Current efforts in detecting signs of life are focused on analyzing the atmospheric composition of these distant worlds, searching for biosignatures that might indicate the presence of living organisms. The variability in supernovae content serves as a reminder that our search for life beyond Earth is still in its early stages, with many unanswered questions and exciting discoveries ahead. But what about other forms of life? Could there be life out there that uses elements we know of in vastly different ways, or doesn't need DNA because it has a life structure we can't even comprehend? Or might there be elements we haven't even discovered in the universe, creating life forms we have no idea how to picture? Although there's no scientific evidence for these alternative life forms or undiscovered elements, the possibility is intriguing and inspires speculation. For instance, silicon-based life has been proposed as a potential alternative to carbon-based life. Other hypothetical life forms might possess entirely different biochemistries that don't rely on the elements we're familiar with. These ideas highlight the limitations of our current detection methods and the need for future research in astrobiology. So, there you have it. The importance of phosphorus and other elements in the formation of life and their implications for our search for extraterrestrial life. Our understanding of the scarcity of essential elements in the universe serves as a reminder of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. As we continue to explore and research astrobiology, who knows what amazing discoveries await us in our quest to find life beyond our pale blue dot. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to Big Scientific Questions for more fascinating explorations of the universe and its mysteries. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.